my name is Dennis Schaefer, and I'm here to give you your first free online clarinet lesson. The clarinet is made up of many pieces, and clarinetists, we clarinetists, like to build the clarinet from the bottom up. So you take the bell joint, you put the lower body joints on, and then you put the upper body joint on, and then the barrel on top of that, and then the mouthpiece. But first, you need to learn how to put the reed on the mouthpiece. So we take a mouthpiece and the ligature, and we put the reed on the mouthpiece. First, you put the ligature on, and a lot of ligatures, the screws go in the back. Some ligatures, the screws go in the front. They always go to the right. The screws will always go to the right. So if it's a screw in the back, going to the right. This one, that's this one, screws in the back, going to the right. And you slide the reed between the mouthpiece and the ligature. And then, voila, I have one already done here. These screws are in the front, you see, but still going to the right. And you see how I place the reed. It's even on the rails on the side, even on the bottom. You can see that that little hump is right in the middle of that. And at the tip, you can see a little bit of the mouthpiece behind the reed. And then you flip it around and you can see a little bit of the reed behind the mouthpiece. Magic trick, all right? So that's where we want to play, place that reed for good placement. All right, now you really want to go grab and put the rest of the clarinet together, but no, you have to stop. And you take a piece of paper and you try and pin it up against the wall with your breath. Pin that paper up against the wall with your breath. So you have to go to the wall and see how long you can pin the paper up against the wall with your breath using very fast air. And try not to puff your cheeks. Pin that pup paper up against the wall with your breath. You can be this close to that paper, okay? Pin that paper up. See how many seconds you can pin that paper up against the wall. And that's the first thing you'll do before you even get out any part of your instrument is you try and do that. And that you're developing the airstream that you need to play the clarinet. After you've done that, then you can grab this mouthpiece, right? And first, I want you to chew on your lower lip like this. And you see this part of your lower lip, you can see this red line. If you had x-ray vision, that's where your teeth end right here that red line right there. So you need to be able to see some of that red of your lip. And also your incisors also need to be on your lower lip like that, right? All right, and then you're ready to put the clarinet mouthpiece in your mouth and you can take a little piece of tape. And I take that piece of tape, uh, I'm gonna use masking tape, but some other great tape is that clear scotch tape, not that fuzzy, not clear scotch tape but some clear scotch tape, the stuff that sticks really well. Okay, and you're gonna take it and you're gonna put it up a centimeter up on your mouthpiece, all the way a centimeter there, all right? You take that and then that's where your teeth slide up against, all right? And then once you feel the tape, you stop. And that's how far up you wanna put it. Now, if you were in person, I would put it in your mouth, but there we have to do this. So we chew on your lower lip and then slide it up. All right, and then you're gonna make a sound. <coughs> Blowing all the air straight down through that mouthpiece, just the same way you pin that paper up against the wall using a fast, cold, fast air stream like this. <sighs> if we were to blow that air without puffing your cheeks onto your hand, <sighs> it'd be a fast air stream going down, right? Like that. See how long you can squawk on just the mouthpiece. Go see what note that is on the piano. I'm gonna go play it. So that is a C on the piano. So if you have a piano and you can match that note, C on the on the mouthpiece, C on the piano, then you know you're getting the right note. So once you've done that, you see how long you can pin the paper up against the wall. You see how long you can play just the mouthpiece. Then you start putting pieces of the clarinet together. For this purpose. I do it from the top down because we're, we're learning how to make sound with even bigger parts of the instrument. So you see how long you can squawk on the mouthpiece and the barrel. Nice, low, big sound. Shouldn't be too much higher or too much lower than that sound. And then we're gonna add the upper body joint. 
And this sounds more like a clarinet. If you play open, it sounds just the same when you put the lower body joint on. Now, when you put the lower body joint on, you wanna make sure you're pushing these keys down on, your, on the upper body joint so it moves this lever up. That's very important so the lever goes on top of this other lever, similar lever on the lower body joint, all right? If it goes somehow, this lower lever body joint goes, this lower lever goes over the upper one, then you're gonna break your instrument. So you wanna make sure that you're pushing these keys down as you slide these together. And if you don't put cork grease on, you have to, on a new instrument, you have to put cork grease on every time you use it. And even on older instruments, every other time, make sure you're keeping a lot of cork grease on these parts of the instrument on the cork here. So when I put, when I apply cork grease, I use a lot of cork grease like that, a healthy amount. And then you can rub that in and, oh man, oh, I have cork grease all over my fingers. Then I rub it on my sock. Don't tell your mom. All right. Kids love that. All right. Then you put this and you put this bell on the table and then you can push down and boom, you have your entire clarinet. Okay, now we're not gonna worry about fingering any notes today. We're just gonna think about getting a sound out of the entire instrument. So we've got a sound out of the mouthpiece and the mouthpiece in the barrel and the mouthpiece in the upper body joint and the lower body joint's just the same. You're gonna put your right thumb right under this key here and then 45 degree angle with you, your body and the clarinet. And that is the sound you should get, open G. Now, you're gonna be tempted to play other notes. That's great, have fun, make some different notes on your clarinet. You've learned how to make a sound, a beautiful sound on the clarinet. So start, start to put, push other keys. That might be only the only sounds you can make, but you can make a great song with that, have fun see how many different sounds you can make. That is your first lesson on the clarinet. So see how many seconds you can pin the paper up against the wall using that fast airstream. See how many seconds you can play a note on just the mouthpiece, the mouthpiece in the barrel, and then the mouthpiece upper body joint, and then the whole clarinet together and see how many seconds you can do each of those things. We're going for nice long notes, maybe the first day, only five seconds. And then the next day, six seconds. Challenge yourself, see how many seconds you can get more each day of long notes on that instrument and make sure you're taking in plenty of mouthpiece and fast air. All right, so that's it for your first clarinet lesson online. I'm here on Artists Row in Salem, Massachusetts. My name is Dennis Schaefer with the Chagall Performance Art Collaborative and we're offering free instrumental music lessons to all Salem residents for a limited time. First come, first serve, and for now, completely online. Okay, have a great time with the clarinet. We will see you soon.